Hello grade 9 math class, welcome back to another lecture. We have today lesson 8 in this unit, uh, perfect square roots of decimals. It's going to be very specific decimals uh, that we are going to be taking the square root of and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's going to draw on a lot of the things that we learned throughout this um, unit and if these things are familiar to you, that's great if they're new. Um, you know, that's great too. You can see the light changing uh, and you know, this right here getting brighter, that's the sun coming in and out. Uh, you'll notice throughout the videos, maybe it'll move across the paper. Uh, regardless, let's start. Um, okay. We have 0.36 as our first problem. And the thing that we need to do is we need to turn it into a fraction. It's difficult to square root decimals. It is easy, as we learned last time, to square root fractions as long as they're the right fractions. And most of these, I think all of these, hopefully, are going to be the right fractions. So uh, to turn this into a fraction, I'm going to move the decimal place two over. And that means that I'm going to be placing 36 over 100 in this fraction. 36 over 100. Uh, and oh, you know what I forgot because I wrote it on here. Now, forgive me again, these do not have square root signs, but the questions that you're going to do, they all have square root signs. So forgive me please, but I should have written a square root sign over this. That would make a whole lot more sense as we're talking about uh, perfect square roots of decimals. So that means uh, when I'm making this a fraction, I'm still going to have a square root sign over the whole thing. I already know that uh, when I have a square root, I can break it up, uh, up, break up this fraction. And I know the square root of both 36 and 100. Uh, the root of 36 over the root of 100. So that is 6 out of 10. And because this is asking uh, for decimals, we're hopefully going to put it into decimals most of the time, especially when it's easy like this. 6 out of 10 is the same as 0.6. So that's what we would be going for when the decimal is easy to um, infer from what we have. All right, let's go to the next problem. The root of 0.81. So the root of 0.81. So there's two decimal places here. I'm going to put it over 100. So it's the same as the root of 81 over 100. Again, I know both of these. The root of 81 is 9. And the root of 100 is 10. So that would be 9 out of 10, right? The root of 81 is 9. The root of 100 is 10. And this is, again, an easy one to put into a decimal. 0.9. So the root of 0.81 is 0.9. And you might notice a pattern here. And if you notice that pattern, feel free to use it. Um, but showing some of your work is always helpful. Let's go to the next problem. So this one we have a decimal as well, even though it's 1.44. So let's do the root of 1.44. Again, doing the root of decimals is not usually easy. So let's go ahead and uh, change this into a fraction. So this is the same as the root of 144 over 100. It's some proper fraction. I don't really care. That's all right. Uh, we know the root of both of these though. The root of 144 over the root of 100. So that would be 12 over 10, which is 1.2. Right? If we just move the decimal place one over because we're dividing by 10, we have 1.2. Let's do our last problem, 3.16. 3.16, 3.61, sorry. I'm going to do move the decimal over two places, turn this into a fraction, that's the root of 361 over 100. Again, an improper fraction, but that is all right. It's the same, I believe 361, it better be 19. So the root of 361 over the root of 100, it is 19 out of 10, yes, 19 over 10. And that's 1.9. Hey, let's just double check just to confirm my insecurities. 361 square root 19. Okay, great. It is that. 
So 1.9 is our answer. Again, because we're starting in decimals, we want to end in decimals. If you guys have questions, again, please let me know. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you soon.